So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So in this video, I will talk about the most important topic regarding the J means 2022 that is the marks versus percentile. So many students are waiting for this video. So I am here to provide you the complete analysis of marks versus percentile for J 2022. It takes uh, it takes a little bit time because I was doing the research regarding this. I, I have considered the all shift marks versus percentile of last year because, because I was regularly providing the marks versus percentile before the shift and after the shift as well last year so after considering all those things and current year situation i am here to provide you the complete marks versus percentile for each type of paper it is easy paper tough paper and moderate paper so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get the complete information related to jv main j advance and other entrance exam other counseling also in the same channel so it's my humble request please try to subscribe this channel so that you will you will get all the update at the real time and one more thing i would like to inform you that after this video Video, I will be regularly providing you all other information as well it is marks versus rank for other entrance exam and I will provide you a special video for PWD candidate that I that I used to provide in the last year as well so this year also and also I will provide you the safe marks category wise to get NIT, triple IT, GFTI that is with CS branch and other branches so all those things you will get in the same channel so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all those video in the same channel so let's start this video so here is the marks versus percentage for J means 2022. So before going forward for this video, I would like to inform you that at the last of this video, I will provide right. the category wise cutoff for J advanced exam also. That is how much percentile at least you should have and what, what will be the marks required for that. I will provide you that information also. So please watch the video till the end. As I so, told you earlier, I will provide you three type of marks that is for easy paper, moderate paper and top paper. As you also know, there might be uh, there might be an easy shift for you. There might be hard and moderate shift. So I will provide you the marks for all types of paper so that you can prepare according to that so here is the first one that is if you want to score 99 plus percentile then for easy shift you should score 260 plus marks for moderate shift 240 plus marks and for tough you can get the 99.9 .9 or more than that percentile also at, at 20. 220 plus marks itself so next if you talk about 99.8 to 99.9 .9 percentile then for easy shift it, uh, your marks would be 250 plus and for moderate 230 plus marks and tough 213 plus marks so again i am informing you that i have considered all the previous year data which is the last year particularly because the situation for this year is similar to the last year so i have considered that because last year i was providing all the marks versus percentile before the shift that is expected and after the shift also after considering the feedback from the students so after considering all those things i am providing you the information so try to watch the video till the end next if you talk about 99.6 to 99 9.8 percentile then your uh, marks should be 27 plus for easy shift for moderate 220 plus marks for tough 204 plus marks so next if you talk about for 99.4 to 99.6 percentile then for easy shift it is 228 and for moderate 214 plus and for tough paper your marks should be 194 plus so next if you talk about for 99 to 99.4 percentile then your uh, then your marks should be 220 plus for easy paper and for moderate 204 plus and for top and paper your marks should be 185 plus marks so imagine how much is the difference between the between the easy and tough and uh, around 30 to 40 marks is the difference and you can take the difference from last year also last year also similar type of situation was there and so i will advise you prepare according to that because if easy shift come in your exam then uh, you might not get the better percentile even after scoring the higher marks so it is advisable work on both the thing that is work on both the thing that is accuracy plus a speed and for that you need to enroll in a test series and what type of test series you should join, uh, you should join that is also an important thing because uh, uh, if you are targeting lower percentile then you need to uh, join a different uh, test series because in the market different type of test series are available and they make the test series based on their uh, students so if you are not enrolled in that coaching suppose LN or resonance then it might be difficult for you to solve those type of question because they target the higher percentile that is 99 98 plus percentile and if you are looking for 90 or 95 if you are from SCST candidate or PWD then you should join a other uh, test series then so for that if you want complete guidance and mentorship that is how you need to do the preparation you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number applicable in the description box but only if you want the complete counseling guidance because for that you have to register with me then I will guide you for everything which type of topic you should consider which type of test series you should enroll and how you need to do the preparation that is the most important thing I will be talking with you and if possible with your parents also 
so after discussing with you and if possible with your parents i will be guiding you regularly up to your admission is done so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so let's continue this video that is for 98.5 to 99 plus percentile your marks will be 207 plus for easy sip for moderate 193 plus for tough 176 plus marks and for 98 to 98.5 percentile your marks for easy shift should be 192 plus and for moderate 178 plus and for top it should be 160 plus now if you talk about 97.5 to 98 percentile then for easy shift your marks should be 176 plus for moderate 165 plus for top 148 plus marks will be required so next if you talk about for 97 to 97.5 for easy shift you should have 160 plus marks for moderate 152 plus marks for tough 135 plus marks will be required and next if you talk about for 96 to 97 percentile then your marks should so be 152 plus for easy shift for moderate 135 for tough 123 plus marks will be required next here is some more marks versus percentile so before going forward for this video i would I like, like to, to remind you again that is i will provide you the marks versus rank for other entrance exam also such as vit amrita manipal comet k kct wbj so all type of information you will get in this channel and, and i will also provide the regular video on pwds student that is the special video and, and also i will provide the safe score for nit with cs branch and other branches for okay. all type of category that is in general pws obc sc st all type of student will be covered so please try to subscribe this channel that's my humble request to all of you so next here is some more percentile versus marks data that is for 95 to 96 percentile your marks should be 143 plus for easy shift for moderate 125 plus for tough 114 plus so now i will talk about only easy, easy shift mark for moderate and tough you can check side wise so for uh, 93 uh, to 95 percentile your marks will be 132 plus for easy shift and rest you can check sideways for 90 to 93 percentile your marks will be 120 plus for easy shift and for 85 to 90 percentile your marks will be 110 plus and for 80 to 85 percentile your marks will be 102 plus and for 75 to 80 percentile your marks will be 96 plus and for moderate and tough check sideways so next if you talk about for 70 to 75 percentile your marks would be 88 plus and uh, 60 to 70 percentile 80 plus marks will be required and for 50 to 60 percentile your marks would be 70 plus and for 40 to 50 percentile your marks would be 60 plus so this is all about the marks versus percentile for the GE mains 2022 so you can, you can estimate your percentile according to the marks that you are getting in the mock test or any test series and you can take the reference from this data for all the all the sieve that will be done in 2022 because i have considered all type of paper that is easy moderate so now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is first you have to download the Philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question you want to say bulb power is if bulb is वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट थैंक so, so next I will talk about the cutoff for JE advanced that is how much minimum percentile required category wise to be eligible for the JE advanced exam and I will also provide the marks range that you should at least score in order to be eligible for the JE advanced examination. So here is the data that is for general 85 to 88 percentile will be required and this data might change depending on the number of percent but I am taking the reference from previous year. So last year the cutoff decreases from 90 to 87 so this year also you can expect some decrease remained in the cutoff because year by year number of seats are increasing and surprisingly last year the number of students were less according to the 2020 so this year also you can expect similar things so according to that i am providing you the data and to get this percentile you should have at least 88 to 115 marks depending on the type of shift whether you are attempting the moderate shift or top or easy shift so next if you talk about for obc candidate uh, then uh, the cutoff percentile will be 66 to 69 percentile and marks required will be 56 to 86 marks and for EWS candidate cutoff percentile will be 64 to 67 and for that you need to score uh, 52 to 83 marks 
So next, if you talk about for SC candidate, then the cutoff percentile will be for will be around forty five to forty eight, and marks required for that will be thirty six to sixty five marks. SC candidate cutoff percentile will be thirty three to thirty five percentile, and for that you need to score twenty seven to fifty five marks at least. So this is all about this video. Here I have considered marks versus percentile for different type of paper for G twenty twenty two, that is G M S twenty twenty two examination, and I uh, and I also provided you the cutoff for G advanced. And it is the minimum percentile required. So thanks for watching this video. Please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update in the same channel about other entrance exam also along with the J mains and J advance. Thanks.